he really does think he's a horse. It's really funny. He'll go in the stalls and just sit there and look at them and start eating the hay. He'll go in and start eating their bran mashes with them when we do feeding time. He literally thinks he's a horse and he has no fear, which is probably not the best thing. And you're not supposed to eat grass. If we do anything with the ponies, he is so put out. He has to be involved with the ponies, whether they're in the turnout, whether they're on the hot walker. So you can't come in here. You're not a pony. Doug was sitting there whining and crying, just like had his face on the bottom of the pavement, and they're staring like, please. <laughs> We're like, okay, if you want to go do that too, you can. So we tied him to the hot walker. He's so happy. <laughs> he literally was in heaven. He was watching them. He was trying to walk like them. He was so proud to be on that hot walker. <laughs> For the most part, all of our horses have kind of like taken him on. I've been lucky with good horses. That's my horse, Nigel. So I call that his brother. <laughs> and Nigel is so gentle with him. I mean, he just loves Doug. We brought Nigel over from the United Kingdom and he was really stressed out. I mean, it's, it's a big trip for them. I sat in his stall all night with him and Doug was with me and Nigel would literally put his head on Doug and it was like his little comfort animal. And ever since, they've just been really close. Um, I saw him and I saw his video and fell in love with him instantly. It's like love at first sight and I've never had that with a person, but that's been the case with all of my animals. So I got in the car the next day, I went to go meet Doug and obviously I left with him <laughs> and brought him home. Honestly, it was the best decision I ever made. <laughs> he is my soulmate. He is my best friend. He's been there for me through everything. The biggest part about Doug that is amazing is he doesn't have a bad day. So it's impossible to have a bad day when you wake up next to Doug. He wakes up happy. He is constantly just finding things to make you laugh. And the more you laugh, the more he'll do it. You're funny. You're crazy. We work at the Orange County Fairgrounds. So Doug always goes with me. He hangs out all day. This is literally where he grew up. Right after he got fixed, he went to the barn and laid in his kennel. Whenever we're at the barn, I never have to worry about Doug and Nigel. Nigel takes great care of him. He'll put his Aww. nose down and then Doug will bump his nose with his nose and he'll go running and bucking and playing. It's really neat to watch two different animals interact like that and have such a great bond. You want a pee? There you go. I honestly think that when you rescue a dog, they know it. Luckily, Doug didn't come from horrible, horrible circumstances. You know, he was on the street and he was thin, but they know when they come from something bad and they end up having a great life, and I swear they're thankful for it.